are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour. So um, you, 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 you are a senior citizen, uh, you're, you're joining this prayer walk, what is motivating you? Okay, my motivation, the first place, is a, it's a Christian community we are creating, because in this weather, what that we are doing here is the creation of mighty Jehovah who created all this. So taking part, taking part in this religious work is a great privilege to me. With your, what is your interest in the protest? Uh, my interest in the process is like, you see this country, it's all about the youth. So like, we fighting for our future, it's not a, it's not a crime, but we are just doing it peaceful in this way to just show the country how interested we are in the country. You see, the Galamse that is going on right now is destroying our waters and all those kind of stuff. And in the nearest future, we the youth, we are going to be in the most trouble, the most need of water. So doing this, it's, it's, it's a way of showing our, our like, interest in the country. You see, but we are doing it in a peaceful way so that it can help you know, the government. That's all. That's all. Right. Uh, with your age group, what is pushing you to be part of this? Yes, okay, so um, actually it's like we all want to help so that they will stop that thing they call Galamsey or that thing. Okay, so that's all. Mm. Are you confident that uh, at the end of this protest, steps will be taken to achieve the goal you set for yourself as you join this? Yes, yes. Mm. How confident are you? What is making you confident? Okay, so can you hear the mirror from my back? Yeah, so it's, it's part of the confidence that I'm having right now. So. Um, you know, I'm looking to the government that they'll do something about it. So, thank you. Continue to cherish what you have given to us. Amen. We cherish all that you have thank given you to us yes, so that we can take good care of it. Amen. We pray today and as even as the president has started, may he continue to do more. Amen. May he continue to add more Amen. so that all that is happening will cease and human life will continue to enjoy the freedom you have given to us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You have been part of lots of protests, uh, making particular demands of the government. The most recent one was the protest against illegal mining, which got you arrested. After you were out on bail, here you are again on the street. What more do you want to say? Right, so... Um, 
First greetings to all the youth of Ghana, um, everyone who supported us. The call is for Galamze to end and for our water bodies to be fixed. If we are here, it's because the objective has not been accomplished. We, yes, we were arrested, we were put behind bars, but the fight is still on. We are just demanding that Galamze be stopped and our water bodies restored. And until that is done, every popular action that happens in that light, we cannot be exempt from it. We will be right there marching with the people. The, the previous protests were fiery, if you like. They, they were more engaging, if you like. This is more solemn. This is a prayer walk. Uh, protesting with prayers, with hymns, unlike the ones we know that are songs, uh, patriotic songs that push the people, changes them. Do you think this form of protest that you've joined is possible to have the effect you desire to see even when the others, which were, as we've agreed, was very fiery, was not able to get the desired response as of yet? Yes. So in every heated contest, you find there's a period of rest. In between the bouts of a heavyweight boxing championship match, you find that they take a few minutes to have a little rest. So if you find us here on the prayer walk, Yes, we're recommitting to our faith, saying yes, we have to go rejuvenate and come back with that fervent energy. So there's just one of them. I mean, demonstrations will have to go on in different facets, different shapes and forms. This happens to be one of them. But so far as objective is aligned with what we are asking and demanding for, you can count on it that we'll always be right there marching with the people. Yes. But government has been putting efforts in place. LI uh, 2462 will be repealed when parliament reconvenes. Military personnel have been deployed to various concessions, various sites. Government clearly seems to be wanting to do something. It's not enough for you? Right, so um, let's look at the root cause of the problem. The youth or the people who are engaged in Galamse are only looking for better living standards or living conditions, right? On the very worst day, you can make no less than 5,000 Ghana CDs in a week from Galamse activities. Now, if government thinks the only way to address the situation is to resort to violence. I'm hearing calls from um, Mr. Joe Weiss, the um, Deputy Speaker of Parliament, saying he supports the shoot to kill directive that has been given. I cannot really bring myself to appreciate what he is looking at. Like I said, people are looking for alternative livelihoods. So if there are no jobs and people have found Galamse to be a cash cow, it's not surprising that all of them will be running into it. The first thing you have to do in, in tackling this issue is to create alternative livelihoods for the people. And then with, with persuasion, you can move them away from this deadly act. But to seek to resort to force and say you're going to use deadly force to, to stop Galamse, I don't see how sustainable that is. Mind you, a few years ago, we had Operation Vanguard launched. What has been the, the success of that program? So you cannot keep doing the same things over and over again, expect to have different results, yes. They should rather engage stakeholders. Let's look at creating alternative livelihoods for those engaged in Galamse. And like I said, with discourse, with consensus and dialogue, we can move them away from these harmful activities. Yes. Thank you. Please, let's comfort ourselves, please. And let's the comfort ourselves. All the communiques issued by the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference are falling on deaf ears. 
As Christians, we feel compelled to do something beyond the many statements that have been issued regarding this disaster. Hence, our governmental prayer will beseech God for his help and also to pray for those in public offices who are vested with power, direct and um, collective results. We want to thank you for at least witnessing that something has been done at our last meeting with your reps. We are grateful of a few more to be done. We are also grateful for the fact that you respected our work and you gave us good security. We are going to end with a prayer. And as we promise you, it's just a prayer work. And we think um, a lot of fiscal things have been done. And we don't know what is happening at the presidency. We believe we are beseeching God so that some spiritual energy will come into aid so that our president will have the strength to do what is right. We are all not talking just to the government but to all citizens, especially Catholics. If you are Catholic, you are involved in this and I'm saying, know that we are to protect the environment. We are to respect the environment. Yesterday, Governor Tetsu told us that not just keep the environment, we are to worship the environment as custodians. This is, this is what we are doing. So we want every Ghanaian to be responsible. And those who are in the Ghanaian side, please stop and save them. Thank you for your attention. We present this on behalf of the committee on behalf of all Ghanaians because we are all Ghanaians. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Father. Um, on the prayerful note that you ended, I will say that you've actually brought to the fore the dimension that we hardly talk about in this, in this matter. The good book tells us in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14, it says that if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear them from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and this is what I like, and heal their land. The spiritual aspect of healing our land comes from adhering to these four principles that the Lord God Almighty himself told Solomon at the commission of his death. So we think that you are in the right direction, you shall pass your petition to the president. And I assure you, as soon as he returns from international assignment, he would have a dialogue with the country. He shall speak to the nation because this matter is of prime interest to all of us. It cuts across everybody. It, it, cuts, it goes beyond politics. It cuts across every citizen. And we shall give the utmost attention to it. Already some measures have been taken, but the president shall communicate to the nation pursuant to the measures that have been taken. Thank you so very much. And I must also commend you for the peaceful way in which this, this work was conducted. Indeed, you have showed that pledge appreciate it. It's a good example for all those who intend to embark on exercising their democratic rights by going through demonstrations or picketing or anything of the sort. We are most grateful. May God bless us all. God bless our nation. Make it great and strong. I thank you. So, um, Grassag is joining, uh, has joined the protest. What motiv What's the motivation for Grassag? Well, the motivation is very simple. As students, we are also impacted uh, by, by Galamsey because we drink water on our campuses. Uh, many of our students have had calls to complain that the water they drink on campus is not healthy. And, and so yes, we are largely affected. And so the main reason why Grassack decided to be, to be part of this protest is to add our voices and also uh, ensure that we can be, we get portable water to drink on campuses. When we don't have good water on our campuses, uh, our, our lives are at stake and we, we will not have that, that good mind to be able to study on our campus. So Grassack is part of this so that we can be able to protect our lives on campus. How confident are you that after this uh, you see concrete actions from government? Well, the president has started taking some actions. We want to see more concrete results. Uh, and so, yes, this is just the beginning. We hope to we'll monitor the situation. We hope that the president takes more decisive ones. We want him to declare a state of emergency on Galamsey. And once that is done, then we know that the president means business. Until now, I, I'm afraid to say that 
the immediate actions that the president has taken uh, may or may not yield, uh, yield results. Let's see, let's have the state of emergency on Galamsey declared, then we can know that the president means business and in achieving uh, and ensuring that Galamsey ends. Manolo Usugrasa. national president. created for us to take care of and therefore I mean we pray, we pray that with this prayer uh, God will listen to our prayers. You, you have plans of presenting a petition to, uh, to the President, to Parliament, to other stakeholders. What would this petition contain? Um, when, we, when we present it to them, we'll share with the media about it. Uh -huh. So, uh, but basically, it's still on the Galamse right. and the ways and means we can all address this situation. Mm. Uh, going forward, the government has also indicated that it's began taking steps to, if you like, uh, correct the crisis we are in. For instance, when Parliament reconvenes, this controversial ally will be repealed amongst others. Is it not uh, something you're confident can happen or will help or you want more than what government says it is doing right now? Oh, well, we're thanking God that things are beginning to happen. That is the first thing. And we are also asking God to, ask, to add many more things to curtail what we are seeing. Mm -hmm. So either way, uh, whether they have started or not, it's good. We'll be right. praying and asking that the soldiers and police that have been sent to that place, the Lord will protect them and then they will be able to achieve what they are doing. And we are also praying that more um, measures will be made okay. or put in place. Mm -hmm. uh, beyond this beyond this walk, this prayer walk, will there be anything else in the coming days? Yeah, sure. We will engage some of the chiefs in the areas where our people are working. We will also engage the youth in the areas where uh, our people are, especially areas where they are doing the Galamse. We have priests there, we have bishops there. It is our prayer that we will also do something after this. Uh -huh. So it's not just going to be it goes prayer and prayer and uh, what do you call it uh, uh, action eh? uh -huh. yeah. so that's what it is so while the government is doing its bit we we'll also be talking to our people in our churches and talking to people around those areas right. thank you you're welcome